Ooh, we're onto something, aren't we? If you've got a quieted mind, there's no momentum going. And when you come from a quieted mind, you can pretty much pick your place on your wheel from that point. So you come out of meditation and you go right to appreciation. And now you have a chance of getting some momentum going. Now you might think of somebody that you want to appreciate that you don't, and you might move down. But now you've got control of the momentum temporarily. When you wake up in the morning, you have temporary control of your momentum. Bless slumber, bless slumber, bless slumber, bless meditation, bless happy music, bless a high flying friend. In other words, there are a lot of things that you can do that will improve your place. So does that make sense to you? Let's say this again. So if I've got momentum going, I'm on a wheel, let's say I'm on a wheel and I'm aggravated, I'm overwhelmed, I'm not feeling that good. And the universe is delivering to me everything that supports that vibrational stance. Isn't it? Isn't it? Everybody on the freeway acts just like that. <laughs> what are they thinking? What's wrong with them? If they would behave differently. I would be having a much better day. Oh, they're reflecting myself back to myself. Well, that puts a little different slant on it, doesn't it? So, so let's say that that's where I am. Now, as we said earlier, that's how you feel. That's what's coming. That's how you feel. That's what's coming. It's almost, it isn't really, but it's almost, it isn't really, but it's almost, it isn't really, but it feels like it isn't really, but it feels like, and usually is. Once that much momentum gets going, hard to break away from it. So how are you going to get out ahead of the manifestation? In other words, that's like the story we've been telling you of falling out of the airplane. In other words, once life is ensuing, then you're applying all your action techniques to try to control it. Aren't you? You're harassing your partner. We gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go. Get in the car, 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 get in the car. Get your stuff ready the night before. Why do I always have to wait for you? Put your keys somewhere that you can find them. We'll eat on the way, we'll eat on the way, we'll eat on the way. You look fine, you look fine, really, you look fine. You look fine. You look just fine. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. So you apply everything you've got in terms of action to try to get this thing squared away. <laughs> Give it up. <laughs> There's not enough action in the world to compensate for what you've got going on. You got to get out ahead of it, you see. But what if, what if you go to sleep thinking about these different vibrational wheels that you have access to every one of them and what if you anticipate going to sleep and therefore stopping your vibration stopping all momentum and when you first wake up in the morning you get into an attitude of appreciation you get there the momentum starts you feel it you practice it and what if doesn't work the first day or the second day or the third day or the fourth day or the fifth day but what if you keep doing it every single day until in about a week you wake up and you get 17 seconds of real momentum going about feeling good like that and now you're off and running and now that day will start out at least it will start out with enough momentum that now it's feeding itself you see and when you practice that long enough before you know it all of this stuff that is in your vibrational reality all of this stuff that's in that vortex of creation all of that stuff that you've been telling the universe that you want incrementally now begins to take shape and you become the synthesizer of it the translator of it the receiver of it the liver of it you become the manifestation the actualization the articulation you become the presentation you become the realization you become the reality of all of that why because you finally completed step three in a way that works for you you say ah really good yeah now what 
everybody want to just go take a nap don't you <laughs> so if you find yourself on a unwanted wheel and you know it because you can feel it right if you find yourself there what do you say to yourself but think about it do you say need to shift wheels even though you conceptually intellectually know that I should be doing better or do you just let it play out because momentum is momentum so you're standing at the top of a hill San Francisco let's say and your car's right there next to you and it's in neutral and the brake isn't on and it's perched right on the top of the hill and just with a slight touch of your hand you can get it moving down the hill so let's say for whatever reason it starts to move and you're right there so you just step out in front of it and it just bumps up against you and it just stops no big deal right not much momentum and so you stop the momentum but what if you left your car at the top of the hill and you walked to the bottom of the hill and somebody else bumped it and now it's coming down the hill and you're at the bottom of the hill what do you do do you, do you stand there <laughs> or do you understand what that momentum might mean to you this is what we're talking about so we'll ask the question to you again you're in the middle of your day you realize that you've got some momentum going you intellectually analyze the situation and you conclude that you're on one of those interim wheels and law of attraction is feeding that stuff back to you you could get out the ask and it is given book and look through the processes and find one and apply one but you know what we would do we just write it out and we just get out of the way of whatever was coming down the hill at us in other words we wouldn't struggle we wouldn't strain we wouldn't beat up on ourselves we wouldn't try to explain it to somebody else we wouldn't defend it or justify it we wouldn't beat up on ourselves about it we would just take it as a natural law as a natural consequence of what we'd set in motion and we would make a decision that I'm gonna get out ahead of that tomorrow or I'm gonna take a lunch break and I'm going to quiet my mind and I'm gonna get out ahead of it you get a sense of what we're talking about because when you react to what's going on you just jump on the wheel and make it go faster often the very thing that you're doing that you think is going to make it better makes it worse because your attention to it is just more momentum about the same so from now on when you hear us say get out ahead of the manifestation you know what we mean we mean early morning meditation and if you will do it every morning for a while you'll train your frequency up there where you really want it to be and oh friends uh, 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 uh. <laughs> talk about fun when you get that momentum going when that momentum's going when that momentum's going everything wonderful is coming your way Occasional dip just to keep you sharp, right? <laughs>